Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second part of day two of OBAP Ace Academy. Once again, I'd like to thank them for this opportunity to get all these videos and photos and the whole experience in general. Uh, these will be some of my photos from the Rampa MSP, and we'll start here with the Telt 83900. And this is some 7200, just like the one that we checked out from a uh, really cool shot here behind. And we'll take a video through the ramp here. Here's the F concourse at 737 900 there, and the H2100. That was really cool to see. And we've got another H2021 back there. I think there are two H2021s actually back there. And here's the alley between the E and F concourses. And here we have an Air Canada CRJ900 pushing back. And then the Alaska 737 900 behind that. And of course the United A320 right there as well. Now the American Airlines section of the econ course right here at the end was uh, empty today. So that was a bit unfortunate to not see any American Airlines aircraft up close because they just weren't there. We kind of did this uh, bus drive and at a bad time to see aircraft here because there weren't a ton. But there are the flags on top of uh, Echo 14, I believe that is. And we'll work our way around here. And here we have a Delta 717 there. We'll drive by the D concourse in a little bit, but uh, we'll take this sharp right turn and here's the other side of the concourse fortunately not much to see here but there it is I guess I got a baggage cart roaming around here those are the spirit gates and then moving into the D concourse sorry about my finger there here we have a Delta 717 and a 737 900. Once again, we move up to the C175, which they're now parking E175s here, which is kind of weird to see, honestly. And then the empty gate right there, and a 21 right there. And then, I believe that's an A318. And an A320. Got a ton of air, Airbuses right there. <laughs> All the Airbuses. There's another 319. So we're now in the C concourse. This is the super long one. So we're now at Charlie 8. And... Well, it's going to be a while. <laughs> We're going to have a ton of E-175s. So there's two. That one with non-enhanced swinglets. This one does have the enhanced swinglets. Three. Four. And will we see five? Yep, yeah, that's five. Gemini, please release one. <laughs> Six, seven, and eight. How many are there? Well, it looks like that's it. Eight in a row. How about that? And then we wanted the CRJs. And the end of the C concourse, there's a 900 over there. Parked in C twenty seven, and here we or no that's not the, that's not the end. Here we have more gates. I forgot about this section. That was not C twenty seven, but uh, we're now at the end of the C concourse with some more C R J nine hundreds here. Yeah, the C concourse just go, goes on forever here. So uh, there's C25 with the weird thing on top of it. I'm not really sure 
why they have that on there, but we'll take the sharp right turn here and take a look at C25. That's the one with the weird welcome sign. I don't even know what to call that on top of it. I'm not sure why that's there. That's the only gate that has that thing on top. And C26 also right there. I didn't have enough room to put one in C27. There's C27, a little, little tiny gate. And now we'll go through the A concourse. There is where the tunnel is to go down to the B concourse. And now move along here. And I think most of this is pretty empty. Or, well, we have the Sierra 200 here. But we'll see, you can see these gates. These gates are super tiny. <laughs> it's not, they definitely made this uh, very short so they could fit the A and B concourse in here because there's not a lot of clearance between them. Um, just enough for Archies, of course. Here's another Sierra 200. It's where they park all the Sierra 200s along with the B concourse, which is the satellite. Of the RJ200. And we stopped here. I'm not sure why. I think maybe someone was getting ready to push back or something. But we uh, kept on going. But there's the back at the CRJ200. Catering truck. Another, and here's the CRJ900 now. Skywest operated. And then moving on to the uh, back portion of the A concourse. This is the last place where there will be restaurants. And then it gets, uh, just thins out into a little thing after this. Here's another Surgery 900. Another Surgery 900. And one last Surgery 900. <laughs> well, it's one more. <laughs> There are so many CRJs here that it's just, just just lost count. And that is the end of the A concourse and the end of MSV Airport. So we really just did a drive through the G concourse and th up through it. Here's a 7200 without wiggling. That's the same that we saw from behind earlier. Then the CRJ 200 from behind. Here's some of, uh, or well, here's the B concourse, all empty in this one, and E175 up close. And here are some C C130s, and then the Air Canada CRJ900 it was taking off. The Alaska 737-900 just pushed back, and here's a Delta 767, and. 737 and 900 here up close. Uh, closely there. Well, all these are up close, I guess you could say. And the Bluetooth is an A330. And the food truck. <laughs> Can't forget the catering guys. Love them. A330 900. And then here's the Delta hangar. And yeah, some 7 chilling out right there as well. And here is another 757, I believe that is. I'm kind of getting blocked by my recording stuff here. I can't really see the aircraft very well, but there's the primary 767 and the back of Sierra 900 here for Pinnacle. And then here is a nice tail lineup of the Sierra 900s. And another tail lineup of someone's nice hair with the, all the E-175s. And here is an United E-175. And a Spirit A320. And finally, Sam, uh, Sam 717 rounded off the video. So thank you all for checking this one out. Um, really cool to see all these aircraft up close. And big thanks to OF once again. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night. I'll feed us in.